Welcome. This is the first in a series of videos on Chapter 5, Looping. Looping is another word for repetition. Before we begin talking about looping, we want to introduce some additional operators that exist in C++. The first operator is plus plus. It simply increments or adds one to a variable. So val plus plus has the same meaning as the assignment statement val equals val plus one. And of course we can we know that that can also be written as val plus equals one. Same thing for subtraction. Um, these operators can be used either on the left hand side of a variable or, or on the right hand side of a variable. The placement of the operator changes the meaning. The first um, mode is called prefix mode where the operator is on the left and the meaning is as follows. The prefix mode means that the variable is changed immediately and the new value is returned. For example, if k is 3, then if I output k, I get the value of 3. If I then output plus plus k, I get the new value of k, which is 4. And if I output k again, k retains the new value of 4. A similar thing occurs for um, uh, subtraction or decrement. The rule is the new value of the variable is available from that point on in the expression. Let's take a look at this example as some code. Okay, here's the code we just saw, and we're going to compile this and run it. When we run it, I want to show you what the code is again. The code is this. When we run it, we get 3, 4, 4. So we take the value of k is 3 plus plus k, changes it immediately to a 4, and that's the value that we use, and then it retains the value. The same thing is true for minus. Now, skip back up here for a moment. That's the prefix mode. Uh, here's some examples. You can uh, study these on your own. And the postfix mode says we can do the same thing, but we apply the operator to the right of the variable. And what's the meaning here? Well, the meaning here is that we use the value of k, and then we increment it. So what do we expect to see? We expect that k, this expression, will give the value of the current value of k, which is 3. And once the value is delivered, the increment is applied. So from this point on, the value of k is a 4. So we expect this to be a 4. And what do we expect when we see the expression plus plus k? Well, remember, plus plus to the left means the new value is uh, obtained immediately by adding 1 to k, and that's the value that's used. So that should be k is 3, k is 4, k is 4, k is 5. A similar thing happens here. So why don't we go back to our program and just go in and change the pre's to post. So we're going to say, oops. So let's go in and change pre to post. So we're going to say plus plus here. We're going to say minus minus here. And we're going to keep that where it is. Oops. Okay. And 
let's compile it again let's run it again let's see the code again though and run it and again we get three the value of three and then we increment so it becomes four after this and then four Okay, and there, here are some additional examples of what happens when we do this. Okay, a couple of things I really need to, to note. One is this operator applies only to variables because variables are the only thing that hold values. And you are saying update the value that's stored in a variable. <clears throat> so these operators change the value of a variable, therefore the operand. Okay, the thing to the left of the operator or the thing to the right must always be a variable. So if that's the case, what's wrong with this line here? What's wrong with this line? Notice that the operator is applied to a parenthesized expression, but what's that expression? Num1 plus num2 is not a variable, it's a value. It's an expression that yields a value. Okay? Remember, the update of the variable takes place and at different points in time. Plus plus says it produces a new value, use the new value. The, the post um, increment says use the current value then immediately update. That's the end of our first uh, session on chapter, um, chapter 5. We will immediately use it in the next lecture.